Hey folks, Harry here, the Irrational Loser, and welcome back to the Zetacraft SMP. In today's episode, we get ourselves a fancy little pair of wings here. We also traverse the nether in search of some crimson nylium, and we build this lovely little farm here just for some mushrooms. So let's get to it. So I need to find my vines. Now, I cannot remember. Am I running? Yeah, I'm running. Jeez. I cannot remember where I put these things, and I think, think we may, oh no, there we go, weeping vines, perfect, now I need some place to put these, so that they will grow, now, I, I'm thinking, I just, use the side of this wall here, and so I just, pull it out a wee bit, um, I'm going to cover this up, so we use this here, and then I can, no, nope, because I'm an idiot. Right, this should work. Yes, perfect. So, bottom slab along here, and then I can place these down. Do I have, do these work with bone meal? We shall find out. Yes. And then can I just break? Yeah, perfect. And then I can pop more along the top here and just continue. Awesome. Right, so, that's easy to do now. So I can let that grow, sort of build it up, and hopefully try and get like an automatic version of it. But I do want to get a lot of the the red woods, the crimson stuff, because I think that for like wood and flooring would just look a lot nicer than the the spruce, especially the black against the red sort of thing. It might be a wee bit too much, but until I actually see it in person, I will not know. So I need to go and find a lot of that wood. And doing that's a lot easier said than done because I do need to traverse the nether, which is hellish in its own right at the moment. So I need a lot more food. I am going to need a lot of diamonds. I want to go and get a pair of wings. Either I go to the end and try and find them myself, which I've been told is, is near impossible just because of the fact that there's... Such an expansion of the end has caused the nether cities to be quite uh, hard to find, I would say almost. Um, they did re-thingy the, the end so that we get more cities going, but at the same time I don't think it's still feasible yet to go and find my own set of wings. So, it might just be a case of me going and doing a wee bit of strip mining finding some diamonds, and then go and find a whole load of... No, go buy a whole load of rockets and wings. Yeah, that would probably be easier. I don't need anything like the fancy ones, although the fancy ones would be nice. I don't actually need them. So that's okay. I'm not fussed with that. Uh, where is my silk touch pickaxe? There you are. And then I've got this lot here, all sold speed 3, and actually, I should, no, no, we'll go and find a lot of stuff first, and then we'll get the, the shop built, and that's one thing I want to get built as a shop for these, because, well, it's sold speed 3, come on. Okay, I just came to the shopping district to pick up some bones, and this thing has appeared. I think this is a bookshop? Books and beacons? <gasps> Oh, he's selling Soul Speed 3. How did he get that so quick? So it's a diamond for most of these things. That's actually not too bad. Um, I need Sweeping Edge 3. Where do we put the payments? I take it they just want the payments in the chest. Uh, what have I got looting wise? I've not got any looting. So I'll take one of them. Um, I need efficiency for this pickaxe. I don't need that. I don't need that. That. Oh, oh, I don't have Swift Sneak yet. Or Soul Speed 3. Mmm. Uh, what do I need? I need Depth Strider. Respiration, I have. Aqua Affinity, I have. Uh, there's more up there. Ah, ladders are here. Wow, I would not have noticed them. Um, alright. So Enveal, this thing. Uh, oh, oh, they're gone. I'm guessing they doesn't have those ones yet. 
This is gurus, I'm sure. I'm sure it's gurus. Uh, do I need to click that for that? Here we go. So we get power five for a so a bow. Punch two. Yes, please. Do I have knockback? I do not have knockback on this. I will take a knockback. Uh, curse of vanishing, curse of binding, channeling, impaling, infinity. Yes, please. Thorn, smite, multi shot. Awesome. This has just been so handy. Thank you so much. Let's go and check out the, the beacons prices. Mind your own beacon. Three diamond blocks a beacon. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, I would have to pay that. But um, I don't have the diamond blocks. And I do need bones. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to check and see if the prices of these have dropped any. No, they haven't. Still six diamonds blocks. That's fine. Oh, totems of undying. Which of these? Three diamonds each for a respawn or a statue. Two for the totems. That is cool. Yes, this is what I need. It is... Two stacks of diamond blocks for a diamond. Perfect. That's it. dragon bones. <gasps> wow. But no, I don't need them. I just need some diamond, uh, some bone blocks so that I can grow up the kelp. So that I have a, um, what do you call it? Bubble column. Straight from the, my mine shaft. All the way up. I thought I'll go and check and see what I can get in those mines again, but they were rubbish. So I'm going to strip mine real quick and see what we can get that way. Now I'm wondering if there is lanterns over here. Because I would like the lanterns. It is. So there's lanterns. I would like to put the lanterns under like red carpet or something when I'm in my build. Oh, you can walk through them all. That's cool. Um, Stack a diamond. Huh? Well, that's not too bad. Uh, they usually are quite expensive anyway. Uh, Prismian bricks and... Prismian. Nice. Awesome. Right, let's head back so I can get my bubble column sorted and then I can go strip mining. And it's done. So we've got a bubble column coming up and we can just fall down here and go and do a bit of strip mining. Find a load of diamonds and go and get some wings. So I need six diamond blocks for wings and then beacons as well. So the more beacons I can get, the better, obviously. I don't even know how far they would reach in, on, on my island. So I need to get one to test it at least. And then obviously try and figure out if we can get more. So yeah, let me go strip mining. Okay. I have got 45 diamond ore ready to go. I just need to throw these down and then mine them up with my fortune pickaxe and then see what we get. I can't even remember how many we had left over. I think it was like 16 and I have no idea what I've done with them. So we've definitely got quite a lot now. So let's see. So I need at least six, 10. We've got 10. That's good enough. Plus, I don't know how many left we have over from the stuff we left, basically. So, I am going to head back up. Zombie. Uh, jump to the shopping district again. Get some wings. Might get the good ones. Don't know yet. Get some rockets and some beacons. Okay, so we got 11 blocks plus 8 diamonds. That should be enough for a beacon, wings, and a load of rockets as well. Which is really handy. What we need like really need. So let's jump back over and get them. All right, here we are. Let's see what is better. So obviously you've got your normal wings here. It's got mending and unbreaking three on it. That's just the normal ones. Now these are special ones. These are modded. So they do add armor, I think, whereas these ones don't. So you get armor with these plus three. That's plus seven armor and it's got protection four on it. Knockback resistance, armor toughness, and then you've got these things, which, um, I think these ones are the best. So, what's that, seven? There we go. And a Lydra with Mending, Unbreaking 3, and Protection 4. Basically what I've got with this. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's actually armor. That is so cool. And we get, obviously, the knockback resistance, which is... Cool, 
4 armor toughness, which is better than what that is. That's slightly less amount of armor, but do you know what? That's really cool. And can I... I don't think I can. That's just mending it. Try to see if I could, like, add anything else onto it. Oh, no, but that's so cool. What's this? Oh, jetpacks? Oh, no, okay. Uh, shulkers? Oh, that'll be good. Where's the rock? Oh, oops. Uh, do I need to do it that way? I do. Where's the rockets? Over here. Tier 1 rockets. Why are the tier 2s cheaper? Huh? Oh, no. Oh, two stacks of diamond, one stack of diamond, two diamonds a stack. Right, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Do that. And now I have enough for one beacon. It is nighttime. I can get a beacon, which is good. Jump all the way up to the beacons. Thank you. Uh, three diamond blocks per, and you mine your own beacon. Perfect. And we have a beacon now. Awesome. That is so handy. That's what we need. And now, I think I'm pretty much done shopping wise. And it's just a case of. I don't even know now. It's figuring out how to mine the the crimson log stuff. That's my problem at the moment is the crimson log stuff. I just need to try and figure out like how to get lots of it very quickly. And then obviously set up something for the vines and there was something else I needed. I don't know, but what we're going to do right now is fly on over to our gold farm. Why does it feel like I'm going really slow? Don't tell me these wings are worthless. Huh. Oh, we we'll need to figure that one out in a wee second. Let's check and see what's happening here. So obviously I've had this running for a while. I've AFK'd for a good wee while. Got all the sort of gold to go through. How are we doing, right? We've got none in there. We've got quite a bit in there. So, yeah, we went through pretty much a lot of stacks. I think it was double the amount that we originally put in. Because, obviously, I AFK'd and it ran through again. So, we've got lots and lots of blackstone. Wow, so that's one, two, three, four, five double chests of blackstone. I think we're pretty much close to the same with the gravel, yeah. And then we've got... Nearly half a double chest of obsidian. Soul sand is doing good. Lots of string. Lots of fire charges. Arrows. Quartz is... Oh, that's really good for quartz. Iron nuggets. The leather's good as well. The bricks are bleh. The crying obsidian's alright. Ender pearls. Uh, this, I believe... I can't remember who it was that said they would use this for the glass, so I'll put that separate. But I've got loads and loads of fire potions, and we're actually on to the second row of chests for this. And then obviously I've got all my books and stuff like that. So it's worked really well, but I think I need to go and test these wings, because that, that doesn't feel right. Okay, I'm back. I have repaired them. I am putting them back because they are absolutely terrible. I went into the creative world on here and tried them out. These have a speed boost on them, right? That's cool. And these work just the same as them, and they last a th just about the same amount of time. Now, I'm switching, repaired, done all that, and I'm going and getting these, and I'm sticking these on instead. I'm losing some armor, but to be honest with you, I think for it to actually work a lot better is handier for me. And they look alright, they look quite nice, but like you can feel the difference. Like that one rocket just lasts that wee bit longer. Whereas the other one, they slowed right down. And I think it's just a drawback because of the fact that it's an armoured piece. It is basically a chest piece with wings on it. So yeah, I'm not getting bad at them, I'm not like putting them off or anything, because, I mean, that's quite a good piece of armour, it's just not worth it, and not worth it. That is so cool. I love what they've done with this sort of mod pack and things like that, and I've been told that this button here is, yeah, that is cool. I love that. But yeah, we've got, well, at least we'll get some wings, and I put, I've repaired them at least, and I put them back, 
So if I if I need to pay a cleaning fee or whatever, you know what? There you go. There's your cleaning fee. Uh, yeah. Can you not close the doors? Okay. Right. So I mean, we've got nine diamonds left, and I think these things have been put up in price because they're harder to get than what we actually. Friendship tree. No, not a kill. <laughs> nice. No, but there's this thing here, this transmitter thing. I have no idea what this is about. But three diamonds for 16 vases. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there we go. We'll grab 40 of them. And I I have my fortune pick on, so I've got to. That was so lucky. Right, let's go for it and hope I don't destroy anything or just spawn anything that will destroy me. What is that? This thing has two... What? Okie dokie. That's dangerous. Alright, let's get through here. And... Hope we don't get one shot or anything like that straight away. Oh, that'd be horrible if that thing decided to come in here, wouldn't it? Like, it's still there. If I can pick up my stuff without it noticing me, I might be able to win this. So I have my bow. Hopefully this thing doesn't, like, teleport or something, because that would be horrible. Like, what is this thing like? It's so creepy looking. I hope it drops something cool. Did it drop something cool? It did. It dropped this. Soul crystal. Ah, that's how you make the soul elytras. Cool. And potion of skull affinity. Okay. Right, let me sort my inventory out again. And do that. Grab that. And then hope that nothing like that spawns ever again. No, oh, that did. Where did you go? I'm guessing he heard something over here. Uh, I'm hoping he can't teleport or anything like that, so we should be safe enough just to snipe him from up here. But man, does he pack a punch. Can you stop swiveling about? Oh, for goodness sake. Ow! And this, kids, is why you should not gamble. Sorted. And yeah, they despawn after a certain amount of time, I've found. Because there was one kicking about. And now it's gone. But I've opened them all up. And I think we done really well. We got four diamonds. And we got some crystals, some carapace pieces, some emeralds, a load of cobwebs and rotten flesh. Don't know what we need that for, but okay. And an emerald. I mean, that's that's not too bad. And some sand. I had to go and buy some dark oak logs. And so, so we get five diamonds in. I had to go and buy some diamond oak logs so I could get back up there and actually get my stuff. But yeah, it's, it's disappeared. I want to never do that again. And if I do, please, please hit me. Please. So while I was flying about, I noticed this place. This is armor trims. Uh, it's, it's armor trims. Like, the sentry stuff. So it's one diamond block per trim. Which is really, really good. Because I think it's like seven to make a lot of them. But it has the silence for one diamond block of trim. I really want the silence one. I love the silence one and the way it looks. And I think it would just... It would just be perfect to have at the moment. Do you know? Do you remember how long it took me to try and find that in my survival world? It took me like twenty blooming cities to try and find one, and it was t horrible. I never want to do that again. So the, the fact that that's there just makes a lot of lot of it just makes amazingly nice. And I don't know if I can use it on this. No, it doesn't look like I can. Does it tell me what it can be used on? Just armor pieces. Although I can use it on the, the end stuff, that's so cool. But yeah, that would be amazing to get a hold of. So I think another diamond mining thing is on, on the horizon for me to do that. And yeah, I think I'm pretty much done here. I now need to go and figure out all about, what do you call it, crimson log stuff. Yeah, look, that's just such a big massive difference. You can already feel like that's letting me fly so much further and faster. Like, that's so handy. So, yeah, I need to go figure out Crimson Long stuff and the vines. I farm for that as well. So, 
I have everything here that would be perfect for the form that I need. This will give me crimson fungus, which will allow me to bone meal and grow into crimson trees. Hopefully. I just need to go and find a whole load of crimson nylium, uh, about 30 odd pieces or something like that, and then we've got to build this farm. So let's go and hopefully find them. So I believe this is a villager. No, I thought that was a way down. Is there not a way down or is it literally just what I've got? What's this? Hmm. Well, that could be a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, that's just not creepy. It looks like my answer is no. There is no way down to the nether. It looks like my hole seems to be the only one that's here. And I have no idea where this lets out. Oh, nice. Wait, am I using silk touch? I am. Perfect. So this is where it lets out. All right. If I create a little pillar here. Whoa. Oh, gosh, that's soul speed. Now that's dangerous. All right, so I need to go and find a crimson forest. I think there's one fairly close by. No. Yeah, this might prove to be a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. Are you what I'm after? That's nether water block. Hello. I mean, it's pretty cool. Not what I need. That has a gas spawner. Okay, then. Let's not go in there. And there's a random floating portal. Where does this take us? I am extremely curious now. And I need to figure out where this takes us. I have no idea if this is someone's base or if it's just for terracotta. Guessing it's just for terracotta. Okay. But I mean, that was a nice wee achievement to get. Now, what do we have here? This doesn't look like Crimson Nihilium. It's Swamp Man Grass. What do you? Eh, uh, news are attacking. Ow. It's a good thing I brought spare rockets, eh? That's Nihilium. That's not Nihilium. That's Jungle Grass. Hmm. A glorious past. Uh, you are jungle grass again. I have no idea where I am lost. Sepian mushroom grass? Okay. I honestly do not think we are going to find what I'm looking for. Nether jungle, nether, nether wastes. No, no. I need crimson forest. Up that way? That way? <gasps> this, this is what I need. Yes. Perfect. So I need a lot of this stuff. Uh, yeah, 14 uh, stack should do. Now, my next problem is I have no idea how I'm getting home. Hmm. I think I should have thought of that. If I can make my way back to where that portal was, I might be able to travel the overworld. I know it's in this general direction. So I'll head this way. And hope that I can find what I'm looking for. Whoop. Right, I don't see that portal. I am very lost, so understandable. And that's what I was hoping for not. To get stuck in dead ends. Hmm. I'm going back the way because I have absolutely no clue where I am. Ah, I recognise you. So we're back in this direction. Right, I've got a portal here. Got two portals here. Right, so this is a good thing. If this takes me... What the... Oh, it's a raccoon. Hello. Right, I have no idea where this is, but it might take us above the net. Nope. I mean, this one looks like a custom portal, so... Yes, this is someone's base. Aha. Yes, right, I know where I am now. Oh, there's a wandering trader. Mr. Trader, what do you have? Do you have anything good? Uh, no. I know, it's terrible. All right, I know for a fact this portal goes above the nether roof so we can get home. That's fine. There we go. Now, my portal is just here. Nope, that's shopping district. My portal's over here. Yes, that one there. Yay, I'm home. Alright, so I need to clear a space to put this, and I think I can just build it on the surface here. 
So that's not too bad. I'm going to dump my excess that I don't need in here. And I think I only need 30 of these. So do that. Wow, I used a lot of rockets there. I'm probably going to go through a lot of rockets doing this sort of stuff. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. Right, let me see how I build this thing. Okay, so we need one of our note blocks and our observers. I think we need all of our note blocks first. Uh, we'll get some building blocks as well. I will place one there and then let's place that and then that. Yep. Okay. Uh, I need to go up here and I need to do that. Place that like that. Place that into that one and then that one into that one. Yes. Okay, now I need to go up three, like so. Take out these two again and then place a sticky piston facing down. Get our lever, turn off this clock like so. Perfect. And then do this. Okay, and now I need to do one, two, three on either side of this. And then one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I need to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And then I need to pay, place pistons like this on either side. And then I need to place the glass like so. All right, and now I need to do this. Get my dispenser. Pop that like that. Okay, and now I need to put repeaters like this, and then redstone like this. Right, now I need to put the nihilium in. Kind of confused though. Ah, right, okay, that's what I need to do. Okay, so I need to go this way. And that is that, and then I think I just need to put the redstone along like this. And I think I'm pretty much done. Give me a second. Ah, right, so I need to go the opposite side of the repeaters and put these down like this and that's it and then if I turn that on perfect right and now I need bone meal and put that down what have I done with the bone meal right, there's the bone meal and do I have any spare hoppers don't think I do but it should just be easy to make up a few of them so that I can basically just Hopper this into the, the dispenser underneath and I don't need to worry about it. In fact, I wonder if... Hmm, that is a thought. I wonder if this will pick anything up. All right, so I'm putting all those bone blocks in here and I'm just letting that fill this up. And then I could probably get some composters on the go and have that sort of just sitting, waiting. Uh, but I do kind of want to build a, a platform up above that will stop anything spawning and let me basically AFK here. So I want it to be that one because this will stop me from worrying about phantoms and um, basically me just dying. I should have built this underground actually now that I think about it, but I really just need a lot of the, the fungus for this. So I'm not too worried. If this lasts me too long, then it's fine. If I do need to do a lot more of it, I mean, it's easy just to take down and rebuild. I mean, that was super simple. Stupidly simple, actually, I would say. And then I just stand in the middle here and hit this and just run around picking it all up. Wait, am I getting... I'm getting warp fungus for this as well. And then I just go until basically all the bone wheels away. Jeez, that's... that's a lot. Oh, we're glitching out here. Right, turn that off just now because my inventory is full. Now, this can be composted, so that's fine. Uh, I'm going to actually run and sleep real quick. All right, so I made that eight composters. And if I can, can do this and then throw all that in there, and then we're basically are creating bone meal now for it. Nice. Right, I just need to go make another two poppers to go into the other two composters which shouldn't be too long ah awesome so that's going to fill up with bone meal as well and we've just kind of created an infinite source 
for this, which is really cool. But I could probably just head to spawn and get a whole load of bone blocks for very cheap. But I mean, this is this is handy to have now. And it is a case I just need to fill it up and wait, really. Uh, where did the rockets go there? So if I pop that in there. So I've got at least three stacks of trees to be able to create and cut down. I will need to somehow create a farm for it. But I think having this running just now will just make things a lot easier for me. 